Boo! What's up, everyone? It's me, Scary Little Girl, and welcome to my very first VTube. You can think of me as Code Mako, but 100 times more scarier. Not that I'm saying she's scary, but hey, look at me! I'm testing out Unreal Engine 4 and Perception Neural on 3 suit. Now, let me turn around so you can kind of see what's going on. Now, I'm looking at my screen over there. And what I'll do is, let me go ahead and spin me around here. Okay, so here we are. Nice house, right? Well, I worked pretty hard to get this place here. But you know, I'm just testing it out. Now this character right here was not really meant for motion capture. It's more for like scary games and stuff like that. But overall, it's pretty good. I just had to adjust the legs a little bit because it was too tight. It was like this. So I just kind of made it wider and then plug that in the animation blueprint and I'll show you that real quick. But to set this up, pretty easy stuff, just right here, LOL, so wider, live link, and then the output graph. And then an access studio right here. I'm using the single level constraint and they're actually, they actually have a beta here. If you go to the settings, they actually have an Unreal Engine now. So I really don't have to do anything as long as it's in an A pose which this character was, I don't have to do any T-pose or any corrections like that, like I used to, you know, before in my old suit. I don't have to go in a T-pose. So yeah, this is kind of cool, right? My very first VTube as a scary little girl. Now we got a lot of stuff to talk about. First of all, I gotta come visit you tonight whenever you sleep, so check your closet and under your bed for me, you know, cause you are gonna see me, it's kind of cool. So, you know, let's, let's do some kicks. You know what? I have my microphone with me right here, so let me go ahead and let me uh let me clip this to my belt so we can do some crazy stunts. Ugh, and it's moving my suit quite a bit. I'm messing with my shorts because I'm actually pinning that wireless receiver on my body. So now we can do some karate stuff with a scary girl. Ho ya! You know what? Let's press play so we can get some hair physics in there. Okay, simulate. There we go. Now we're getting some physics and the fans turned on. It's freaking hot in here. So here we go. Pretty cool. Live Perception Neuron to Unreal Engine 4 using Live Link. Like I said, the plugin or the Unreal Engine 4 beta is still in beta. So the Unreal Engine 4 option or 5, this is Unreal Engine 5 is still in beta, both the plugins, so. But, you know, we can like, ooh. Just some running around and we can, maybe we can hide behind this right here. <laughs> Guys, can you see me? How about now? Boo! Oh yeah, that was cool. Let's go hide this. Hide in this chair right here. Go right here, hide in this chair. Oh, I can't sit. I'm too old for this. Oh, I can't sit all the way down. Uh, you know, maybe we can walk backwards. That's always creepy. But yeah, I've had the suit on for a while. Maybe like a good 20 minutes. Feels pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I'm, people say they want to do some crazy stunts, so... Do some double kick or like a odd, oh, this is like, this is like Chuck Norris kick right here. Check this out. Oh, dude, y'all need to sign me up because I'm pretty much like a karate guy. Oh, I hope she's wearing boxers because if not, YouTube is going to freaking sue me. Oh, oh, is she wearing boxers? I think she is. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. All right, here we go. Maybe I can do a cartwheel. Oh my god, that was, that, that was stupid. I can't do a cartwheel. All right, so we're gonna test out another setting for this Perception Neuron Access Studio and I'm out of breath. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is show you the whole multiple level thing because some of y'all really wanted to see how that works and see if it works using the Access Studio and Perception Neuron 3. Now I show you all some really nice karate move. Now let's go and see if I can climb this table right here on the left, I have a table IRL right here in the chair right here on the right. So let's go ahead and see if we can do this right. I'm gonna go to the Access Studio here. 
solver. I'm gonna change this to, I'm gonna click on this, hand tip, height, and I'm gonna click on hit. And I'm gonna change this to free climbing, okay? So I'm gonna have the table right here on the left. And I'm gonna good climb it. Hopefully I don't fall down. And now you have a floating ghost girl, which is actually pretty cool. And now I'm gonna try and see if I can jump down. Now I'm back on the floor. Okay, and now I have a chair right here. And I'll climb this as well. And now I'm gonna spin it, because it's a spinning office chair. And I wish I had somebody that can push me, because that would be really cool if I just kind of like float in space. That would be super creepy. Oh, I'm gonna go back down. And going over here again, so. You can climb the stairs and I'm kind of close to my computer, so I'm back up a little bit because that magnetic interference right there. So let me let me move the camera up and we'll do a couple more things here. Now whenever you switch to that new mode, you're gonna see that your character is gonna shrink down. So just be very careful with that because you're going from one mode to the other. And you can see the feet's not touching the floor as it was earlier. So now you can kind of see it. Now usually whenever you switch over, to a different mode, I would usually calibrate again. So from right here, I have single, and I'm gonna go ahead and quick calibrate so we're not kind of drifting around. T post. Got the B pose. And then you get the uh, Italian pose right here. All right, so now we're back on solid ground. And I'm gonna go sit down real quick. Some of y'all wanted to see this as well. Like if I sit down on my chair and I'll, I can leave my, uh, I can actually lift my foot up and I won't sit down because it does have that hip detection. I'm gonna show you that real quick when I turn that off. Turn this off right here. Now if I sit down, you're gonna see that I already fell down. So it's kind of freaking out, cause it's like, WTF, what's going on? I know you're a ghost, but I don't know what's happening. So turn this on right here, and we should be back to square one, but obviously we already messed it up. So I will calibrate here one more time. Or just click back to origin if you want. Pretty cool. Just testing out the movements here. Let me back away from my computer so it's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, seriously, for, for VTubing, this is actually not too bad. This is fun. This is really fun. <laughs> and look at that live reflections right there on the right side. That's so cool. Kinda love that, man. And this is Unreal 5 as well, so we have that reflection. I'm not sure which setting it is on because it's just the template that I opened up. See that kick again? Oh, ow. Ow. <laughs> ah, I really need to stop doing that. All right, one more time. Okay, pretty high kick. Let's see how high I can kick this thing right here. Oh. Yo, and me. Let's fly. Ugh. Mm, belly hits, belly hits, belly hits. Kicking a leg, kicking a leg, kicking a leg, kicking a leg, kicking a leg. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, you absolutely need to hire a professional stuntman whenever you're making action movies because you have me trying to do stunts. It's just not gonna work. 